No one knows how many people have died in the crackdown. We may never know. Our own CBS News re review of hospital figures indicates that at least 300 have died. The figure may be as high as 3,000 or more. Many were civilians who went into the street unarmed to challenge the military and were mowed down by machine gun fire or run over by tanks. But amazingly, people were still defying the army today. Richard Roth has one story. It was noontime today in the center of Beijing when a man walked to the middle of the Avenue of Eternal Peace, which, as it happened, was already occupied. He walked to the middle and stood there. The man was alone. The tank was not. It wasn't just a single tank he stopped. There were 18 tanks and armored carriers in this convoy, and while he talked to the crew and ignored the gunfire, he stopped all of them. One man alone, of course, can't stop an army. Except for a moment, that's exactly what happened here. For three minutes in the middle of the day, an army was stopped by a man who stood still. A man who'd made up his mind, it seems, though why, we just don't know. But when bystanders rushed in to save this stubborn soul, it wasn't easily done. He was pushed away at last, faceless in the crowd. Safe, we think, but in a city verging on calamity. What moves a man to just stand still? Is it courage or outrage or madness? We can't tell what was on his mind, and we can't forget what he did. Richard Roth, CBS News, Beijing.